Good evening. I am Dr. Nilfar Fatema, consultant, Department of Cardiology, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University. Now I am going to present my case, a case of acute heart failure in apparently healthy young female. She is a 50 years old man, progressive breathlessness. Uh, while attending to emergency, she was in NYC class 3 and uh, she also had palpitation for five days and for last one day she was uh, severely dyspneic, occasionally dry cough for one week, no history of fever, pulse is 110 beat per minute, irregularly irregular and uh, blood pressure was 90 over 60 and uh, lung there is a uh, bivasal crepes and her ECG shows atrial fibrillation with fast ventricular rate and uh, X-ray shows cardiomegaly with uh, bilateral some patchy opacities in the lower zone. So he is the um, a eco, uh, eco in emergency. So uh, the, um, her, the LA is dilated and it is a poorly contracting LV and uh, there is a little bit uh, pericardial effusion and the pericardium is very much thickened and the ejection fraction is uh, there is a global hypokinesia with dilated LA and ejection fraction is around 25 to 30 percent and patient was very much toxic and dyspneic and here is dilated RA and RV and you can appreciate the uh, pericardial effusion and also thickened uh, pericardium. Uh, the, there is uh, severe tricuspid regurgitation and moderate mitral regurgitation. So, um, and in Doppler study uh, tri across the tricuspid valve, um, the uh, tear jet uh, is uh, very, uh, uh, very much um, high and uh, also there is a calculated PSP is around 65 to 70 millimeter of mercury and uh, dial uh, male pulmonary artery is very much dilated, it is about 31 millimeter and uh, TDI shows there is a reduced um, S wave and we did uh, uh, 2D GLS in that patient and it came uh, about uh, only minus 5% and, uh, and we did not get the um, uh, bullseye because of uh, uh, very, uh, tachycardia, for her tachycardia. So the, uh, the echocardiographic uh, um, comment on emergency room is severe global um, hypokinesia with severe LV systolic dysfunction. There's thickened myocardium, pericardium, and also severe tricuspid regurgitation, severe pulmonary hypertension, moderate pulmonary regurgitation, dilated LA, RA, RV, main pulmonary artery, and uh, infravena cover, and mild pericardial effusion, with uh, severe RV systolic dysfunction. Tepsi was seven millimeter, and there was thickened pericardium. Due to strong suspicion, later on we did the RT-PCR for COVID-19, and it became positive. And troponin was sent, and it was 272, which is uh, highly raised, and uh, pro-BNP is also high. It is about 4,200 picogram per ml, and serum, E, uh, CRP, ferritin, and D dimer all are raised. Then we did uh, HRCT chest um, and for, for his uh, short of breath. And there are uh, some ground glass opacities in all the pulmonary lobes and suggestive of COVID 19 lung infection. And they comment like cardiomegaly with thickened pericardium. So our diagnosis was uh, COVID myopericarditis and we shifted the patient to COVID ward and uh, was uh, treated with injection frusimide and supportive ionotropes and injectable steroid for one week and anoxaparin was added due to uh, dilated RARV and uh, dilated pulmonary artery suspecting 
any pulmonary um, any thrombus in the pulmonary artery and uh, metoprolol was given for her uh, atrial fibrillation to reduce the heart rate and also ram ram ramipril was added and uh, after three weeks time uh, when she became covid negative we again uh, did uh, echocardiogram but it shows uh, a little bit pro progress in her uh, ejection fraction it is about 45 to 50 um, percent but uh, the myocardial contractility is not that much good it was a little bit better than before but it's not that much um, expected um, the problem list after three weeks time is arterial fibrillation with fast ventricular rate and slow recovery of myocardial contractility and so we advise um, her uh, for CMR, but she, she was very poor. And in, uh, in our country, only one center do uh, CMR, and it cost around 30,000 taka, and she could not do it. So uh, the most common pathology for uh, uh, the COVID-19 time is the RV dilatation and dysfunction. Uh, and uh, in circulation, there was a paper we, they observed 39% COVID patient had uh, RV dilatation with dysfunction. And another uh, paper published in Jack, it is about 105 COVID patient who, who, who were admitted in New York and 31% had RV dilatation, 41% died from the end of the study and 11 died without RV enlargement. So my take home message is um, uh, patient might have milder symptom after COVID vaccination or maybe COVID infection, still there might be a strong suspicion of COVID myocarditis if the patient present with short of breath without any fever, prodrome symptom. Complementary tests such as echocardiography can help for the diagnosis of um, myopericarditis if we cannot do CMR. And very high troponin I is the marker of myocarditis and um, high pro-BNP signifies heart failure. Thank you, so. Dr. Nilufar, for your uh, brilliant presentation. Thank you, sir. Yes. And I noticed that in one of your uh, echoes, there are vegetations on the mitral valve. And COVID, usually the vegetation is not a feature. It is a myocarditis. There was a pericardial effusion. So I think it is a combination of COVID with the super added infection, which has worsened the condition. Because the myocarditis per se, multi cell by inflammatory thing, is more common in children, not the adult. I think it's a combination. And the vegetation is very clearly seen on the mitral valve. Okay, thank you very much.